This is what truth is, that you alone are God over all, that you created everything out of love. Because 1 John 4 verse 8 says, The one who does not love is not known God, because God is love. You are love, Lord. Everything came into existence through love. You stretch out your arms around the universe, and then it fits perfectly in ever-increasing measure, because you are eternal. Oh, how very fortunate we are as humans to be the crown of your creation, placed just below the angels and created in your own image. If only we could understand what went through your mind when day after day you created everything with just a word and it was made. But when it came to us, it was different. With great care and love, you formed us. Psalm 139 says, You notice everything I do and everywhere I go. Before I even speak a word, you know what I will say. And with your powerful arm, you protect me from every side. I can't understand all of this. Such wonderful knowledge is far above me. Where could I go to escape from your spirit or from your sight? If I were to climb up the highest heavens, you would be there. If I were to dig down into the world of the dead, you would also be there. Suppose I had wings like the dawning day and flew across the ocean. Even then your powerful arm would guide and protect me. Or suppose I said I'll hide in the dark until night comes to cover me over. But you see in the dark because daylight and dark are the same to you. You are the one who put me together inside my mother's womb. And I praise you because of the wonderful way you created me. Everything you do is marvelous. Of this I have no doubt. Nothing about me is hidden from you. I was secretly woven together deep in the earth below. But with your own eyes you saw my body being formed. Even before I was born, you had written in your book everything I would do. Your thoughts are far beyond my understanding, much more than I could ever imagine. I try to count your thoughts, but they outnumber the grains of the sand of the beach. And when I awake, I will find you nearby. O oh, Father, Lord, in spite of all the noise around us, all the horrific deception of these days, which is increasing by the day and threatening to mislead all of mankind, in spite of it all, we can always know that you will let yourself be found by those who seek you. You open the door for them who knock. Mark 13.22 says, For false Christs and false prophets will be raised, and they will give miraculous signs and wonders in order to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. Lord, every one of us who earnestly seek you with upright hearts is your elect. Let us never, in this time of deception, ever admire the miracles performed by Satan and his followers. Let us always know that no matter how beautiful, even if that fruit looks as great as it seemed to Eve in Eden, even if we feel the lust of the eyes pressed tightly on our hearts, even if we feel the lust of the flesh draw us and the pride of this life beckoning, that we will cling to that rugged old wooden cross on which the sinless Lamb of God gave his life for this lost world. We thank you, Abba, Father. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.